Hey everyone, my name is Charlene Eoclinaria from College of Sciences, Technology, and Communication Incorporated. For today's video, we are going to tackle about a closed test. A closed test, also closed deletion test or occlusion test, is an exercise, test, or assessment consisting of a portion of language with certain items, words, or sign removed. Closed text where the participant is asked to replace the missing language item. The word closed test is derived from closure in GESLAT theory. So what is a closed test used for? A closed test provides empirical evidence of how easy a text is to read and to understand for a specific target audience. They thus measure reading comprehension and not just a readability score. What is a closed test activity? It is an activity in which words are removed from a passage for a learner to fill in as an exercise in reading comprehension. The missing words may or may not be provided in a word bank. There are two types of closed tests. The first one is the closed paragraph. So closed paragraph involves a chunk of text with entire words omitted. Your child has to fill each gap with the appropriate words so that the passage makes sense. Usually, a word bank is provided. This is an objective test where there is only one correct answer for each deleted word. So this is the example for the closed paragraph. It was a blank night. The wind was blank around the blank as I stepped out of the blank and into the blank. So the answer is, it was a stormy night, the wind was blowing around the rooftop as I stepped out of the door and into the grass. So the second type is the closed word. So closed word involves letters being removed from a particular word in a passage of text. Your child then needs to fill this in correctly. For example, recycling is important because it helps to avoid the omitted letter for the answer is unnecessary waste and protects the environment. For our third example, the term grammar does not bring pleasant memories to the minds of many people. Instead, grammar frequently brings to mind tedious lessons with endless drills repetition and other generally mindless practice focus on mostly obscure rules of how people are supposed to write and speak for native speakers of any given language grammar often represent to them the great mystery of language known only to the language specialists or those of older generations the one who really know what is right many feel that grammar is something that they were never taught and therefore don't know because bad grammar is often attributed to people misuse of language there is often a sense of resentment or frustration with the notion of grammar